morning everyone hey good morning good morning welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to loving it on keto how is everybody doing today um yes we are recuperating from the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus yes we call it several nicknames no it's not a cootie bug for real no it's not the zombie apocalypse for real but we are not allowed to call it what it is what it is and some of you get offended by us using the C because that means something to you or cootie bug means something different to you or zombie apocalypse because you think we're taking it lightly we're not this is very serious and we are sharing the information the best way that we know how without getting demonetized without getting a strike against our channel and potentially taken down or timed out because we would use the real technical term and talk about what's really going on because of the censorship around this. And that's a sad thing, but I'm not political. I don't want to get into the politics. Please don't leave political aspects or information regarding it. Just know when we're talking about zombie apocalypse or call it a cootie bug or any of those things, we are taking this seriously. We just have to use a nickname uh, for what is happening. Anyway, I'm so thankful that I drug Harry kicking and screaming into the room with me and said you need to check him out because we did find out he does. It was going into his lungs. They had an actual x-ray machine at this particular facility. It's pretty well equipped. They can do um, um, broken legs and arms and casting and they, they do all of that stuff there. Now today I am very <clears throat> sinusy. And one thing that the doctor did tell, or the PA, the physician's assistant that worked on Harry, said that there is a secondary infection you can get with this that coincides with it. And they tested him for that. My lungs still sound clear, but things can change very quickly with this. You can go along and think you're doing wonderful. It's like my friend Paula said to me this morning, she says, it's like, you know, these visitors that just won't leave, you know? Mm. And I said, yeah, you know, you want to kick them to the curb and pack them, get them packing. Because it's like you, you go along just fine for a little while and you start doing stuff around the house and you feel good and then boom, fatigue. It's like you have to sit down and recoup. It's not tired, it's a fatigue. Your whole body just has a fatigue and the sinus issue is huge. Also, one of the things when we went to get our infusion they talked about was back aches. Huge, um, Alan yeah, that's a from big Alan's one. World was talking um, today uh, in comments and he and his wife are recuperating. He went back to work, but he's, he's getting the back ache. And you know, that's, that's that's a huge- That's a thing. That's a thing with this back ache. That's one of the things they talked to us about because they went over a whole bunch of of signs and symptoms and what to look for and things that are normal uh, side effects that happen and things you need to watch for and get to a doctor for. So that was quite interesting. But thank you all for sharing what you and your family and friends and loved ones are going through. It's amazing the information we are can all glean from everyone's comments um, and things that they are doing um, uh, regarding this. So I truly appreciate it. Anyway, you guys, how many of you are doing the uh, kick off your weight loss in January? Um, today is a carnivore day it, or a BBBE day. Beef, bacon, butter and egg day. No carbs, keep it simple, salt and pepper, do resistance training and lift some weights. <coughs> I've got steak out. Oh. We're having steak today. Oh, good. We're having it's some a steak meat. day. We're having meat. I've got two different kinds well, of Well, isn't steak. today a BBBE -B -B -E day? It is BBBE -B -B day. So we get yes. to have it. Yes, we do. All right. Well, you can have it anyway. Can I have eggs with that? Yes, you can. When? And you know what? Here, I'll even do this. Where's the bacon? Oh, dude. Remember, you guys, I made yeah, that bacon. Right. I've got bacon. So we're going to have bacon, beef, butter, butter and, and eggs. eggs. Yes, indeed For real. we are. 
I need to make bread later today. I've just got some crum crumbly pieces over here. Yeah, look at three, that, man. It's like, little, it's dwindling. Yeah, three slices. You guys, that buttermilk bread recipe. Oh, it's so good. Don't give up on the egg white protein bread just yet. If you have tried the other recipes, please try this last one. Please try the egg white um, protein buttermilk bread of mine because you guys, that recipe is so light, so fluffy. It is the best texture for bread. It is It toasts wonderfully. And you guys, I don't want you to give up just yet. Try this one more recipe because I think you'll be glad you did. Anyway, some housekeeping. Someone sent me an email today. Uh, this is very important. We're over here. I'm sorry, this is very important. You guys, the Lily chocolate, the peppermint flavor baking chips that I was gifted, Lily's having a recall on them. You know, a specific and batch number, there's right? There's a whole bunch of batch numbers. Matter of fact, oh, every there? single one that I got is batch numbers. Here's the batch numbers. On there. So um, these were bought at Sprouts. So I'm just taking this whole recall. You can also go to Lily's and fill out a form if you buy them online. Um, and find out what to do uh, for that. And I'm gonna take these back to Sprouts with this Well, what are they paperwork. being recalled for? Well, they're being recalled because the batch accidentally has sugar in them. Oh my God. As well as um, uh, they have, that there was an error occurred at a cofactor. Some of them have uh, sugar in them. Some of them also have soy lecithin in them as well as other things. So, uh, soy, lecithin, sugar, and other ingredients that are not presented in Lily's peppermint flavor chips normally, you guys. And this could screw you up, sugar-wise. So, anyway, I just wanted to bring that up really, 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 really quickly and tell you about that. If you guys want more information, email me and I'll give you the link. Actually, we can put the link right in the description above, yeah, Harry. Yeah, just do that. We'll just put the link and you guys can go there and read it for yourself. But I just wanted to share that because that's that's valuable information. As sad as I am that I have to give up the peppermint chips, I am gonna do that because I don't want sugar. I don't want soy like a thin. I don't want the other and other ingredients. What are the other ingredients they're not saying? <laughs> Sounds like they made a big fat boo-boo mm -hmm. at the cost of anybody that's keto right. or has sugar or has diabetes oh, or yeah. any of those things. They're freaking so, out. Yeah. Just wanted to share that. We'll put it in the description below for you guys so you can click on that link and check out your packages as well. Anyway, you guys, everything that you eat or drink the day before, sometimes two days prior, can have a direct effect on your weight loss. Harry is now on azithromycin protocol which is the z pack you take two the first day then one every day for six or seven days i'm not sure which four for his lungs because it was moving into his lungs it was going very quickly it showed up on x-ray and that's something we have to watch extremely careful with harry he has not weak lungs but he has some damaged They're lungs damaged. Yeah. and with his heart and his lungs we have to watch that extremely closely so i'm very glad i did that um, anyway, what we had to eat yesterday, we had a, um, egg sandwich, fried egg sandwich, two eggs, two teaspoons of butter, one tablespoon mayonnaise and mustard on two slices of my buttermilk bread. Harry had two of the sausage cheese pinwheels first thing in the morning, then he went back to bed. Um, we had for dinner a double-double uh, with cheese, hold the onion, hold the tomato, uh, lettuce wrapped from In-N-Out Burger. Very disappointing there, guys. It was like they took a whole head of iceberg lettuce and opened it up and stuffed two little patties, yeah. two little things of cheese and a squirt of mustard in the middle. When we got it, it was like this monster lettuce thing. Mm -hmm. And you were like, where? You're like peeling it back going, Harry's like throwing lettuce. Go, what are you doing? He's like, rrr, 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 rrr. this all this lettuce. He kept chucking it in the bag. We had like a bag well, of I, lettuce. I was explaining it through colorful metaphors. Yeah. Don't get too close to my face. I don't want to scare people. Yes, I put lipstick on, but my eyes are red today around my eyes and my eyes feel very, very dry. That's another thing you can get 
is red eye with this all these things i'm telling you anyway let me get let me tell you anyway two slices of bread uh with tablespoon jam uh for or at the tv last night we had some toast and jam we had coffee with collagen and tea with lemon 25 grams of carbs 86 fat protein was 129 and that's loose on the carbs because of all the lettuce uh, 1,427 uh, was our calories. So we're eating more calories, you guys. We're hungry. Um, hungry and thirsty. Drink more electrolytes. Have two or three a day because um, one of the uh, symptoms of this virus, uh, zombie apocalypse lockdown virus, is you are constantly thirsty. It doesn't matter what you drink. It's like you're thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. So your body needs it. That's obvious to that. So... Um, Listen to your body. Don't listen if it's screaming sugar and candy. That's that's the demon devil talking. Mm -hmm. But as far as electrolytes are concerned and water, make sure you're getting plenty. I went up. I went up two tenths. Yeah, now, we're doing, we're doing those, two the hamburger point. patties were very salty. Yeah. But Harry went up. Harry is on antibiotics now. And we're still both doing our inhaler. Obviously, um, we want to make sure we're doing the inhaler because we want to keep Harry's lungs and my lungs clear on that. So, oh, I got to share. Look at what I got. Oh, I'm so excited. I got my new whisk because somebody broke mine. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. That's a pack. They have every color in the rainbow. They had purple. They have pink. They have... Every color. Did you put this on our um, Amazon store? Yeah. Got it at Amazon, and I love it it's because... in the kitchenware section. Kitchenwares, because it's so cute. Look at that. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You guys, I already made our morning elixir, got our vitamins out, and Amazon woke up this morning to check the water. We keep a big bowl of water on our front porch for all of the cats in the neighborhood. We have some feral cats and our neighbor has four cats and there's some apartments down the street. And you know, when people live in apartments, they leave their animals. Yeah, it's I don't get so that. sad. But I have a big um, stainless steel container of water. So I'm always checking it to make sure it has enough water in case there's a stray animal or something gets loose here in the desert. I, I just, I'd rather have the water for everything that needs it, including the birds. Yeah, we got a big bird one. But I walked out there and there was packages from Amazon. Now, either he came really late last night and, and the puppy didn't hear it, or he came early this morning. But I got my cinnamon toast and my keto uh, collagen cinnamon toast. So now I have matching, well, again, to see cinnamon back, toast. Well, that's nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Perfect keto cinnamon toast because... One of you folks, one of our Loving and Keto family members told me, don't get upset if you start losing your hair because it's a thing with this. It's a thing. And I'm like going, no, no. I've been taking biotin and I've been taking a vitamin for nail, skin, and hair. Yes, I have. I got no room on my count. Oops, that was good. Glad there was no bread in that. But I've been taking, Harry and I have been taking um, Ultimate Hair Formula. Helps nourish and support healthy hair. Plus biotin. Plus biotin. Even though we haven't been taking collagen. Well, where do you get that from? But it's, it's Synergy is the name. You can, uh, do you not have that on Amazon? I don't know. Well, here, I'll leave it here and you can put it on Amazon. Anyway, I'm drinking coffee this morning with my collagen. I'll double up on collagen now that coffee tastes good to me. But you know what? The salted caramel tastes really good in chai tea. So if you're a tea drinker, try it in Tai Chi. It's, it's really, really delicious. Yes, it is. Anyway, you guys, oh, I think I gave everybody all the information and stuff. Let's go to the big board, Harry. It's time for the big board. We need to show the big board. Because we're just like, ugh. I know. 
it's like one step yeah. forward, two I know, steps backward. Man, it's like really one step upsetting. forward. It is. It is. And you just you just have to calm down when you're sick and just eat intuitively, stay keto, stay ketovore, stay carnivore. Do the things, take your medicine and just right. ride through it because your body needs to be nourished. Don't starve your body just because the scale is moving upwards. Don't do Who's that. on the screen right now? You or me? I'm sorry. You are. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Slam dunk. Slam Steve, dunk I'm that wind girl. I'm talking. I'm supposed to stand here like Okay, well, animals. that's what you do to me, Buster Brown. Hey, that's what you do to me. Yeah. yeah. I sit there and smile and just wait for you to ramble on just so, like I'm doing. So, may I? Yes. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Okay. Go for it. <clears throat> So, you know, Don't let me it's really stop weird you. because Don't I, let me stop I think you. it's, I was looking at this this morning and I think I screwed up here. Could that be right? Uh, 149 the day before and this is 25 and that's 34 and that's 37. Yeah. And that one right there. Carbs is not 149. I don't think it's supposed to be 149. I think it's supposed to be 49. Yeah, no. I'll have to, I don't. We'll what the heck back. did you do? I don't know. I screwed up That's there. wrong. Yes, you did. Obviously, that would, we obviously would not have been in ketosis. No, I know. That's I think that I think it's fourteen grams. That's a G. That was, that was a yes. Big. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, you can see. Like, I, look at I'm doing this two tints creep every freaking day. Yeah. It's like because of all this. It's got to be because of the stuff we're taking. Because we're not really. Well, we're eating because we're really hungry, though, too, at the same time. Yeah, but we're eating so richer foods, more I, fat. Right now, I, I can't follow this thing at all because it doesn't follow any pattern. It doesn't follow anything that we've normally done for the past year and a half. So right now, I don't even know if it's worth going over this right now. The only reason why I think we're watching it is because it's helping everybody see that what you're taking is making you go up. What we're going through. Yeah, and what, what we're our going bodies through. So that's really through. the only reason why we're showing this right now because let's face it, we're not doing, it's not working like it's supposed to be working right now. Right. That's it. That's all I got. Oh man, you guys. So I've got to make bread today sometime, but we're having steak. That's our main thing. Yeah, we really steak, would like to eat. Steak and eggs. Can we eat now? Sure. Would you like to have? I I'll am cook some so steak. hungry right now. Are you now. really, honey? Okay. I'm just nuts. Okay, let me let me make some counter room. The good news is, the good news is, are these guys tight. I got these things all done. Well, do you have time right now? Yeah, I do. <laughs> let me let me let me do one thing real quick. I had to move everything off, you guys, but it's 8:30 in the morning and we're having steaks, and I'm cooking these delicious steaks in my air fryer. Come on down. Okay, mm. you're right where I want to be because I need to get some seasoning salt. So I want, uh, let me think, what do I want? Well, I think that would be really good. Simply barbecue, do you want barbecue or do you want seasoning salt? Seasoning. Okay. Seasoning salt. I've got Redmond Real Organic Seasoning Salt, and then we'll finish it with their delicious oh, you're gonna smoked put, salt. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, we finish it with salt that. On it. So I'm just going to put some of this on. Put a little bit of garlic salt on, garlic granules. I love garlic on my. So it tastes like something to me when I put this. Oh, I got, how did I get on there? I'm 400 and probably seven minutes on one side because I do not have it preheated. And then we'll turn it because we like it medium rare. We might be able to have some bacon with that. This is defrosting pretty quickly. I love cold bacon. Yeah, me too. I hope bacon tastes good to me today. And then we'll cook this for dinner. Cool. So, it's a steak day. It's a steak day. This is exciting. Yes, it is. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back in the next segment when it's steak. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that delicious.
delicious piece of beef -y deliciousness. Ooh, yeah. Ooh 14.5 ounces. Nice. That's a nice one. Is that mine? Yeah, that's yours. That'll be yours. But you know what this means, Harry? Hmm. Gotta let it rest now for five minutes. Yeah, I know all about the rest. The, the magic, thing. the magic happens. Mine's nine. You, want some, you can take some of mine if you want. No, I, I'll be lucky to eat this in the morning. My stomach's not open for business very well yet. But you guys, now this is where the magic happens. I know they probably are still, I've got to go to Redmond's anyway today to order more uh, immunity. Uh, electrolytes. You gotta check up on that. And I want to check to see because you guys, this. Oh my gosh, this these, is the best stuff in the world. This is so. I put it in a little shaker. Look at this. Don't they look like brown diamonds? Yeah. I equate everything to gemstones, but I am telling you, this just is fabulous. You just top, just top it on your meat afterwards, and you have got a smoked. It smells oh, like it's, it's been in it's the smoker nuts. all night. Yeah. Just deliciousness. Oh man, it just tastes so good. You just want to finish your. Oh, smell that. Smell that. Can you guys smell that? Oh, that smells like you're walking you're by it. the big <coughs> smoker. Black smokers outside your favorite barbecue place, and you oh, smell yeah. that hickory oh. smoke and delicious goodness. That's what this is. Yeah, it's so exactly. good. It's like they, oh man, they bottled it. Smells so it. Good. Yes, they did. They bottled it, and it's just fabulous. Man, is that good. Hey, you guys. We are going to have steak for a break fast, but we got to let this rest for five minutes. Anyway, you guys, we will see you back in the next segment, and let me know how you guys are doing. Leave me a comment. Let me know what weird symptoms you had if you had this and are you still having them? The good news is, is we are getting our sense of taste and smell back pretty quickly. Even though our heads are still stuffy, the right. olfactory uh, areas are coming back. And I think that has to do with flushing our sinuses, learning how to use the navage, gargling with the salt water. I, I got to show you that. Doing. No, no, you're not showing. To, that, that's TMI. Too many people would get... No, we don't want to show that. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you in the next segment. Hey, everybody. Thought I'd talk about my favorite coffee in the entire freaking world. That's right. It's this right here. Oh yeah, Arbuckles. Arbuckles is my favorite. I think it's turning out to be one of Wendy's favorites too. Wouldn't you say? Yes. Yeah, she's right in the other room. She wants me to make her a cup of coffee. Maybe I'll make one, maybe I won't. I don't know yet. But, so I'm gonna open this puppy up. Now, look, there's a whole story to Art Buckles Coffee, and it happened way back in the 1800s, and they started themselves a little coffee company, and it was went throughout the West, and the uh, all the guys used to, you know, the chuck wagons and stuff. They used to make their own, make their own, make the dinners and all that kind of stuff, and they have to make coffee. So they always had a pot of coffee going, which meant somebody had to tend to the coffee all the time. Well, what Art Buckles did to help these guys out was. They put inside each pound bag of coffee one of these. You know what that is? That's a peppermint stick. And on it, it says Arbuckles. Is that wild or what? Because whoever got to come over and start working and taking care of the coffee, guess what they got? Those big mean cowboys got themselves a nice big piece of candy to suck on while they're doing the coffee. That's right. Pretty good idea, I thought. But so I'm gonna make myself some of this. This is real simple for me to make. Now I'm using this 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 coffee thing here that uh, this drip coffee that I got myself that Wendy confiscated for a while until somebody got the brilliant idea of sending her some bags. Thank you very much. Uh, 
what I do is I put two of these in here. Now this is a paperless one. As you guys probably already know because you've probably already seen it, right? It's all paperless. So I put two of these in here. Like just like that. Yeah, fill it right to the top. Just like that, see? Just goes right in there. Right in there. Just like that. From that, I always fill this thing up all the way to 400. You know, because their little idea, these little these are those for those little prissy cups, you know, those little teeny teacup like ones, you know, one cup. That's not a cup of coffee. That's not a cup of coffee at all. So I just pour this in. I gotta go slow with this because you know you want it to filter through. You know. Take some time to do this. But I always thought that was kind of a fascinating thing. Now, of course, because we're doing keto, we can't have these. This is sugar. Can you imagine what this would do to me if I was to eat this thing? So I'll give this to the, one of the kids next door or something. So, but, uh, yeah. So I just do this. You just got to be good. Take it slow. Ah. But it makes it better that way because it, it pulls the coffee through, you know. I love it. it takes a while, but it makes it really good. There it is. So, this is the way I like to drink it, right out of the beaker. Oh yeah, if I want it straight, you know, without a bunch of stuff in it, uh, like cream and my uh, sweetener. Sometimes I just like to have it straight. I like having Arbeck straight. This is a great coffee to drink without any, any of the added stuff in it. For It's a great morning brew. I love this coffee. Ah, so good. Anyways. Show it to you guys one more time. This doesn't come with it. This is a one ouncer, so I use two ounces to make a cup of coffee. Um, but uh, show it to you guys once again. Here it is. Arbuckles. The coffee that made the West. Yeah. All right. That's about it. I'm gonna go out with my coffee. Sit down. Maybe I'll have a cookie with it or something. I don't know if I can make Wendy allow me to have one you guys have a great morning talk to you later well when you said no on the cookie because it's a BBB and E day <sighs> all right maybe tomorrow oh, see you guys later Well, we didn't get to Whole Food, but we ran down the street to Sprouts and we got some Zevia ginger root beer, peach Perrier. Strawberry Perrier has fallen off the face of the planet. We haven't seen that in months and months. It's not strawberry season. That shouldn't stop them from making strawberry. Anyway, you guys, I bought a rotisserie chicken. These are $6.99, which is a good price. If I'm not going to Costco, I always grab one. Um, I got some oven roasted turkey breast, the True Story brand. It's excellent because all it is basically is uh, organic story. turkey breast, water, and salt. Got some boar's head liverwurst, which I've been craving I and love, love that. liverwurst. Yes. And I hate liver, but I love liverwurst. He loves liverwurst. Figure that one out. Got Harry some of the boar's head low sodium. Um, bologna. It's not as good as yeah, Whole Foods, not, but it but it's, is low. It's low sodium. It's bologna. So it's bologna. It's bologna. I got some Sprouts um, pepper jack cheese. Yep. Some sharp cheddar cheese for our bologna and yep. liverwurst and turkey sandwiches. And this is a brand I haven't seen before. Oven baked parm crisp cheddar. This was um, on sale. And it's the family size. You get five ounces in it. And then we got some tangy ranch cheese crisps, uh, garlic herb, and the Asiago pepper jack. And Harry and I split that with our sandwiches. So I just wanted to share. We just did a, a mini haul <coughs> today. Just wanted to share that with everybody and bring that to everybody. So what? Did you want to talk about the antihistamine or not? No. Oh, yeah, Harry, good point. 
Um, one of our viewers sent me an article from a doctor in South Africa who has been doing a pulmonary stu study on the infections that people are getting from the zombie apocalypse lockdown virus in their lungs. It's like a secondary thing. They're going along fine. All of a sudden they're having issues going into pneumonia. He is finding that it is not acting like true pneumonia. It um, The airways are open, but it's causing issues with the lining of the lungs. And he is finding that it is a histamine issue. Body is reacting an allergic reaction to the big C and so what Harry and I I read all of that information um, and thank you so much thank you so much for sending that to me we can put a link to that article for you guys to read but it's as simple as for us adding Benadryl which is an antihistamine mm -hmm. uh, to our regime to, in order to get well. We are having issues with our head and stuffy nose and everything. So an antihistamine would be warranted. And if that helps Harry's chest too, that is a win-win situation. So we can link that information in um, down in the description below as well. But it's a good read. It's a white paper and it's extremely interesting. So thank you. Thank you so much for sending that to me. Anyway, got to put all this stuff away. Got to get some peach Perrier in the refrigerator and got to get it cold because I love it. Okay, Harry, put your camera away and help me put the groceries away. See you guys in the next segment when we cook steak for dinner. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, I am cooking our second steak and I am using this Simple Girl barbecue seasoning that Melanie Hine from Purchase Ninja and Kano sent to me. Yes, she did. Thank you so much because it's delicious. Look at this. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm gonna yes. put this in and Harry and I want this steak shared with eggs tonight right. for dinner. So you guys come along and we'll share our dinner with you guys as soon as this one is done. I'm gonna put this one in and let me see. I think this one needs to go for a lower amount because it's a thin steak. Yeah, it's thinner. It's a thinner steak. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back when it's ready for dinner. What do you got? Oh, you're eating some bacon. Cool bacon. I, well, I, wanna, I just wanted to taste just to see. I can taste it. That's really good. Harry wants bacon, eggs, and steak for dinner. So that's why I'm cooking. Got my eggs right here. Yep. Got are. butter in the pan. Here, you want to taste? Yeah, please. It's really good. Oh yeah, it tastes like bacon today. It doesn't taste like a mouthful of lard. No, it does not. It tastes like bacon. Anyway, welcome back when it's bacon, eggs, and steak for dinner. It's done. It's yes. done. I put some garlic salt on that too with that simple girl. Mm -mm -mm. Man, does that smell good. But let's put a little bit. Let's put a little bit of that Chef's Blend smoke. Oh my gosh, this smells Yeah, so you got to put some of that on there. So heavenly. So heavenly. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, let me put this out of the way. Hey, okay, guys, look. I've got our eggs, our eggs, our steak, and our bacon for dinner. Yes, indeed. This has to rest five minutes, but you guys, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, you know what? Harry and I are going to follow through. Tomorrow is a protein sparing modified fast. It's a high protein priority for everyone. Don't eat more than 10 grams of carbs total. No more than 30 grams of fat total and move your body. Okay, you guys, we have to wait five minutes to get this going, but let me see what it weighs. Cause you had 14 ounces this morning. Mm -hmm. I'll put this That's on. Okay. I'll put this on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You gotta, you gotta lift the steak off. I know need to get my 
tongs. Just a minute, just a minute. Because we're going to split this. Yep. What's it come out to? 16. So we'll each have eight ounces. Yeah, with, that's good. We'll each have eight ounces. Can you see that? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to let it rest now. So you guys, Sally heard the word. Um, you know what? I want to get her some of these eggs. Sally, you want some eggs, honey? Mm -hmm. She said yes, please, Mama. Come on, back up. Let's see. Eggs. Oh yeah, she loves her egg yolk. That's the best part, huh, Sal? Oops, get that little bit. There you go, get that white. Get that little bit. Hold it on her just a second. Good stuff, huh, Sal? Yum. Ah, oh, it smells so good. It has been a beef, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs day for us, you guys. We've got our eggs and our bacon here, too. Yep. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, you know what that means. We are going to go eat our dinner. I think we're done for the day. Hey, please remember to share us with everybody. Get us out there, you guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notified every time one of our videos gets uploaded. Please remember to give us a thumbs up. That helps shoot us out to the YouTube world with the algorithm and puts us out in front of more people so they can find us. We really appreciate everybody. We hope everybody's doing much better. We hope you're on the road to wellness and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Now I got to get a knife and I got to get Sally some of our eggs too. She got, here's a little bacon dish. We'll give her a piece of bacon. Oh yeah, just a minute. Oh, she wants a little piece of bacon? What's some bacon? Mm. She says, oh yeah, bacon and eggs, oh yeah, buddy.